All right then gang, so in this video, I wanna do a couple of things. I want to flesh out the template for the jobs details component. And also I want to flesh out the styles for these buttons right here. We have one on the jobs page, but also on the home page and on this form right here. So I wanna flesh out those buttons so they look a bit better as well. But let's start with the jobs details component. So that is this thing right here with a name of ID in square brackets. So let's get rid of that console log. We don't want to do that anymore. And instead, what we want to do is output the job details to the template. So let's do a div to surround all this with a class of job. And then inside that, I'm going to do an H2. And then that will say job.title. So we're grabbing the title property from the job. And then under that, we want the salary and also the job details. So let's do a paragraph for the salary and we'll say salary off and then we want to output the variable this is going to be in pounds and the variable is job dot salary okay and then finally we want the details so let's just output those straight away down here job dot details like so okay so now hopefully that should all work Remember, we're getting this job from the server right here. And um, when we get it back, because we already have it before this is rendered, then it's gonna be able to populate all of this straight away. So let me save that and come back to the jobs. And we're gonna go into this one. And it says undefined and undefined. So let's see what's going on over here. Okay, school by error. I've made spelling mistakes in both of these. That should be salary and this should be details. So save that and now there we go. That looks better. Okay, so if we go to the first one, we get this salary and these details and this title. If we go to another one, all of those details, etc., are displayed on the page. Awesome. So one more thing I want to do with these things right here. I want to add the prefetch value to the anchor tag so that when we hover over these, we fetch the data in anticipation of a user clicking on one. Now we did that with this link right here. So if we go to the nav to see how we did that inside components, inside nav, we can see we just added rel equals prefetch. And now when we hover over this link, it's going to perform the preload function inside that component, which is this. So we're going to do the same thing for the details. So inside the index for the jobs, we can come down here where we have the a tag and then just paste this in a rel equals prefetch and now when we hover over one of these links it's going to look at the component it's going to and it's going to perform this stuff right here to grab that data before we actually get to the page so it's quicker for the user so if i now test this out and open up the network tab over here so we can see these different requests what I'm going to do is hover over these and you can see all of these different requests have been sent to gather the data ahead of time. So now if we click on one of these, it's already there. Awesome. Okay then, so now I just want to style up those buttons, this one right here and the one on the home page and on the form as well. So let's do that by adding some global CSS. Now, before we do the button, actually, I just want to add a custom font and I'm going to grab that from Google Fonts over here. So the font I'm going to use is quicksand and what I'm going to do is select a few of these different styles. So that and that, so different weights. Then I'm going to embed this using import in my CSS. So let me copy that and come back over to the global CSS over here. And the reason I'm doing this globally is because it affects the whole site. Same for the button. It's on multiple different components. So it makes sense to do it globally. Now for the font family of the body, I just need to change this to quicksand now, which is what the font is called, quicksand. Okay, so if I save that, hopefully everything looks a bit nice over here. Let me just refresh this. Yep, the font is updated now, cool. So now I wanna do this button right here. So let's go to the bottom of this file and create a new class. Let me close this so we've got more room. BTN, that was the class we gave to all of those things. And the first thing I'm gonna do is display this as inline hyphen block and then I'm going to give each one a background color and that is going to be kind of like an orange color the hash for that is ff3e00 and then after that we're going to say the color of the text is white and we also want some padding inside the button that is going to be 10 pixels top and bottom 15 pixels left and right we also want to give this a text decoration of none and then a border radius too, so it softens the corners. And that is gonna be eight pixels. And then after that, I'm gonna say text 
transform is uppercase and the font size is going to be reduced just a little bit 11 pixels because we're making it uppercase and therefore we reduce the font size to kind of compensate it being a bit bigger and then I'm going to say the font's weight is 600 make it a little bolder and the border is going to be zero I'm doing that because we have a button so if we go to the create thing over here this right here is a button and they have a border so I'm stripping that away and we need to spell this correctly border and then after that we're going to do a font hyphen family of quicksand again because this thing right here this button still isn't the quicksand font so let's do that quicksand like so save it and let's come and refresh and that looks a bit better the home page looks better and this looks better as well awesome so we're pretty much done there's only one more thing i want to do and that is to add an error for certain things for example if we go to forward slash jobs and then forward slash some id that doesn't exist at the minute we get this and that's not very helpful to the user so i want to add a custom error instead of this in the next video